crazy. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. You are now tuning in to <laughs> episode 46 of the Off the Menu podcast. Yeah. I am your friend, your host, Key. Here with my brothers, my co host, Moose. Yeah. P. <laughs> and Tay. <laughs> Oh man! What kind of Christmas beat is this, dude? I, <laughs> I said no fi <laughs> I know. I was like, I like the first one you played. It. Play the well, first you, one. Okay, let's, let's, this uh, one's uh, nice. Do over. Do over. Do over. Okay, okay, over. All right, hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Action. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. You are now tuning in to episode forty-six of the Off the Menu podcast. I am your friend, your host Key, here with my brothers, my co-host P. <laughs> And Moose <laughs> and Tay, go getters. Big <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh, yeah. crazy! Don't you intro us? <laughs> <laughs> that was tight though. Don't you very <laughs> special guest <laughs> us? <laughs> Happy holidays, y'all, uh, man. Merry Christmas. I'm about to have this music run through the whole time we're talking. This actually is kind of nice. It's, it's kind of soothing. soothing. Kind of just like put it down a little. We'll, we'll talk a little over it. <laughs> I like this. What, what song is this? Dude, I don't know. You guys silent silent like some yeah. silent. Yeah. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> You're off there of the go. wrong part. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, y'all, Welcome on a back, very special y'all. episode. This is episode 46 of the Off the Menu podcast. This is a very Christmas episode for y'all. On this episode, oh, as you can tell, there's no special guest. We are reflecting on our year, our past year. Oh, we yeah. would like to say thanks to all our viewers and all our yeah. guests that have come on. Shout and thanks to, to the team for being able to make this happen. Yeah. Um, well, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and get into some stuff. We'll get into some Christmas shit. Maybe if yeah. you find some, some <laughs> Christmas horror stories, some Japanese shit. Japanese um, Christmas. Favorite Christmas <laughs> moments. Christmas. Before the camera came on, we were talking about... Um, you guys said you hated Christmas. Who said that? Well, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, hey, these guys fucking Grinches. Hold man. on, <laughs> I'm hey. not stealing shit from you. <laughs> yeah. The difference between us and the Grinch is that we're not stealing Christmas. You all can the have your Christmas. Of Christmas. The spirit of Christmas doesn't exist if Santa doesn't give me my gift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. Fuck Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> He's the way he convinced me. <laughs> I didn't get a gift from him. He's the like, hell? 28 years of life. I ain't got a shit. It's like, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Forever change. I was, I was actually very young when I f- figured out that Santa wasn't real. For viewers, discretion advice. <laughs> Kids <laughs> watching, if you're watching. Hey. Like, what? Don't worry, parents, turn this shit off right now. <laughs> <laughs> your hardworking parents are your Santa Claus right there. Your, your aunts and uncles, your grandparents. For some reason, our viewership, <laughs> the kids woo. that are watching our shit, seventy <laughs> like, percent under wait, the age of fourteen. When did this happen? When did we get so many kid viewers? <laughs> really? No. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Got his ass. <laughs> I was like, wait, what happened? <laughs> Who do you think we are? Oh my hell! No, it was just like when I was a uh, very young. I think it was the like, age of six. Um, my parents were like, "Yeah, Santa's gonna bring our gifts, and uh, they're gonna put it on their tree tonight." <laughs> my nosy ass I've always been a nosy kid too mm-hmm. trust me and um, I was just sitting on the stairs waiting for them and then I just see my parents walk in with a bag two just regular ass bags no fucking Santa Claus <laughs> Toys R Us yeah shit. Toys R Us <laughs> sitting there wrapping that shit and I was like I'm gonna wake up Sonja. I'm gonna go fucking <laughs> tell them he needs to them. see this they need to know <laughs> told Sonja and he was in disbelief you ruined it for that? Santa Santa. I ruined it for everyone. He said, oh, hell no. He's like, look at them. Every time I watch the Christmas movie, I'm like, you fucking liar. We've been deceived. You liar. <laughs> we need to get you on the Polo Express, bro. I've seen the Polo Express. We need to get you on, on the Polo Express. On the Polo Express. No. The train. You know? It's not real. Yeah. The train. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> Santa's not real, then the Polo Express isn't real. Where are we going to the Polar if... Oh, actually, the Polar is going to flip soon, so hmm. watch out for that, y'all. You could use Are rain deals not real, then? Reindeers are real because remember I had the episode with yeah. um who was it? Episode with Battle Dog. Yeah, Battle Gabe, Dog. Gabe Battle remember he was Dog. talking yeah. to us about the story about how um the the reindeers would eat like drink or eat piss from the snow mm-hmm. and people that were tripping on shrooms would make the uh, reindeers trip yeah. and that's how they would like talk that's about rain, flying reindeers and shit. Yeah. What the fuck? That's where you it were came on from? the episode. You were on I the know. Fuck. That's where it <laughs> I came got bad from? memory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's well. That's what he was telling us. We were talking about yeah, conspiracy. We were talking shit. about some shit. And so he, people would eat mushrooms. Yeah, take a leak, and then reindeers would drink their piss or eat, yeah, drink or eat the snow. Yeah, 
and they and would just they're flying. And yeah. that's how they flew around and dropped off our parents. When, when he told us that, I really went to look up that story, and it's a real story. Yeah. So, huh. are they the unicorns that are the unicorns? No, <laughs> unicorns <laughs> got fucking horns on their heads and shit. Right unicorns here. like Porzingis. Right <laughs> LeBron, LeBron James. LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that's some. There we go. We have a lot of favorite moments on our on our channel, and mm. you know we've been building off our guests. And that that was a. <laughs> I was so confused, noted. bro. I was you, so confused. He like he said reindeer, and I was like, yo, what? Yeah, he was going in on that trippy see, stuff, was, and then yeah, I was like, kind of because he was talking about like the shit. life of mushrooms and shit on Netflix mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. like all this crazy stuff that you know we discuss when we're not on camera, <laughs> you know, and, and we're experiencing. Yeah, <laughs> not on not camera, camera. <laughs> no. <laughs> or are we? Get us to 100 likes, we'll see what happens. 100 <laughs> likes. <laughs> Get us to 1,000 subscribers, Moose we'll will see. take. We could talk about something. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do a special Ancient that, Aliens episode where we review episode. Ancient Aliens. I can already tell you, all of us are just gonna be sitting here. And just be like, I don't, I don't know. Man. <laughs> What'd you say? I would just be laughing, honestly. No, we wouldn't be able to hold the conversation. <laughs> Are you sure? We he, maybe. I think can. we could. He I can. think we could. What are you I saying? I can't because I can. I've been. In I feel like I'm more talkative. I could. I'm more talkative. I'm on too. the other so side I'm of it. I can talk and stuff. Just don't bug me. <laughs> I he can I, bug me <laughs> easily though. So it's like fuck. Dude, do you see the shit I've gone through when we've done some crazy shit? Do you see the Just people? Just gonna walk out. Do you see the people we live around and work John, with? John all the time? Doe, Asian man of 76 years old. John Doe, Peter, Tommy. Oh, Peter and Tommy is all you need. Oh, bro. that combination itself is enough to make anyone do bad things to themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Had me sitting in the shower at the batch between two showers in our master bedroom. Why were you doing that? Between two showers. Because the master bedroom uh -huh. had the double shower, right? Okay. And you're just sitting. Right in the I was middle. sitting right in the middle. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I was in the pool for like five hours, and I was like, you know what? That sounds pretty good right now. I'm gonna go clean myself <laughs> off and sit in the middle shit. of the shower. And you know what's fucked up is that it doesn't reach the middle. Yeah, dude. And so. So I was just sitting there, cold as fuck. Like, why is the water not hitting me? Yeah. And What's going on? There's I two showers. Angling heads. it right. Yeah. He's like, what the fuck? He's just sitting there like, ah, oh, what the hell? It's supposed to be made for two people to shower in their own areas. Yeah. Ass to yeah, ass yeah, yeah. type shit. Yeah, yeah, that's ass. fun. <laughs> I was asked the floor. <laughs> I was sitting on the floor waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, I'm under the influence, so it's also mm -hmm. like. You know, shit just, just goes down. Just his, his ass just sitting on the floor. And there's two showers. He's so, <laughs> he's so, he's like, he was so happy like, to go in there, right? He was so happy to get his it ass. It was very <laughs> peaceful, though. I, I don't doubt it. And then we had... How were you sitting, though? Just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, at one point, I was going to starfish. <laughs> my, oh, my. I, and my big ass was going to starfish. <laughs> 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 just take me away. He's like, on the bright side, I can feel it on my pubes. <laughs> and on the downside, I'm getting on a fucking board wash. <laughs> I can feel it on my beard, too. There's water everywhere. <laughs> and then that's what, after that moment, we had our... Um, one of the best moments was the when we were watching... Uh, hereditary right after <laughs> I had, no, no, we were watching this. heterosexual <laughs> <laughs> you were asked yeah you were gone dude I you went for, away for five minutes bro it was not five minutes it was like, well, no it was you know, it was five minutes no I because came out it, in was, the, it was like legitimately like no it's because it took us ten minutes to get all the lights off yeah fair because but man, and he was gone the whole time we were turning off the that lights that was fucked because yeah. I did not enjoy is that is this when you guys say you guys had to turn on Tokyo Drift yes I was scared shitless bro a lie. I said, y'all really do this? He said, I can't do this, Tay. This shit's too scary. I, I said, heard no. I said, no. I heard pure evil, bro. I said, yeah, I, said, too, I said, I heard bones rattling. I don't know what that sound is. <laughs> He's like, this shit too evil, Tay. Stop. <laughs> and I was, Tay's, like, ah! Tay, like, Tay's not trying to be mean because he knows I'm being serious, but he's trying so hard not to fucking laugh. <laughs> Dude, I, I was so pissed when I came out. But then it was Tokyo Drift, too, so I was like... Easily, I was like, okay. Once both, again, both the longest intro, the longest the intro ever. ever. Both movies. The if you're under the influence, ever. watch Tokyo Drift or Hereditary and then tell me how long the intro is because <laughs> that was way longer than it was supposed uh, to be. Bro, we're like, they're still racing. <laughs> it's only Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> What time is it? <laughs> oh. oh, dude, that was a tight. That's funny. Tight is, song. Uh, every time someone talks to me and like wants to like talk about like personal stuff they're doing in their lives and I want to give them some influence. I said him that Han quote. 
Dude, it really does. I just said it to him. Man. I said it to Brian Child the other day, and then I was like, anyone text me? He's like, man, I'm going through some shit. I'm like, hey, man, this is what this is what Han said to me one time. <laughs> <laughs> to me personally. Yeah, to me personally. I took that personally. He said, he's back, like, he said hey, yo, back in 08, Han said, <laughs> he's like, you, told me. You look at, you know, you see them? They're letting fear lead them. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally going to be in Tokyo standing in that same spot, and Bruh, I'm recording please, it, and then I'm going to have him do. voice over, and I'm going to they Please don't have the do. Starbucks anymore. I gotta find a different spot to shoot above. Oh, you Shibuya. gotta get that soccer field, man. Yeah, yeah. they don't find, have the soccer find field anymore. That soccer field. Yeah, they don't have it anymore. What do I look like? A zebra? No. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me sad though. Why? Because the soccer field's not gone. It's not the scene. It's not the scene if you don't got a soccer field. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just go find a regular ass soccer field. <laughs> <laughs> we could, I go find a basketball court. It'd be better. Um. But yeah, uh, stay tuned for the episodes we release too in the future. I yeah. will be vlogging my Japan trip coming up. Yeah. The CEO and I are going in with our brothers and sisters, and we're doing a Tay uh, today. <laughs> get ready with What's me. A tay today. It's a, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do a get ready with me video. It's, it's my me putting on shorts and a t-shirt mm-hmm. in the snow. That's it. That's it. And people are gonna be like, "What the hell did I just watch?" <laughs> No makeup, no hair done, no anything. She just walked out on some foam runners and some shorts and some, a t-shirt. Day today is um, Wiz Khalifa's <coughs> vlog. Yeah. He calls them day today's uh, okay. episode. I need to educate we're, myself. We're going to call him Tay today. Please, please give me Day today's are so funny, though. It's like <coughs> he would, they just be bullshit on there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and they're just having fun. I'm going to try to figure out what kind of content <coughs> I'm going to be trying to put out for Japan. Cause, just don't make it lame. Oh, man. Everything <laughs> I do is lame to you. No, I no, that's not true. I tell you not to make it lame. No, that's I'm like, exactly why I'm gonna make it lame. Don't be corny, okay? We definitely need you to go into the the record store. What's wrong man? with being okay? Yeah. What's wrong being corny? <laughs> or what's wrong being you? <laughs> well, what if you are corny? <laughs> that's the what's wrong is that you guys are horny for each other. Whoa, uh, whoa! It's I wouldn't say it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez! Oh, stop like, it! Okay, 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 okay. All but right. With the uh, Japan though, what's your like you most excited for when you go? Just being there, honestly, it's been a it's been a four years. Mm. The last yeah. moment I shared there was when my grandpa passed away, and I just needed to escape. And mm. you, you know, that's my Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fuck! <laughs> you know the cowboys. <laughs> 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 you know the cowboys cross the border. <laughs> Dude, no, but it's that's how I Mexico. feel though. You know, it's my that's how I feel. Like that everything getaway. about anything about that movie and what Han said in that movie is like. That's the reason I love Tokyo so much. Like mm-hmm. Paris, Tokyo made me want to get engaged in Tokyo. Yeah. Mm. Going crazy. And I knew at that moment when I first heard it, I was like, man, I have to go. Mm-hmm. He, he doesn't even say anything crazy, mm-hmm. you know, but he it's like the play on words and stuff. And like yeah. shout out to Lupe, man, yeah, for Lupe. Paris and Tokyo. That's mm-hmm. one of yeah. my favorite songs, man. Oh, yeah. he, he carried me throughout high school as much as he could yeah. until I figured out school wasn't for me. Yeah. And. <laughs> But also, he taught that, though. He was like, yeah. you know, if you can figure out life and be creative <clears throat> about it, then go out about it. So, yeah. And the same thing with Tokyo will Drift, which is the craziest thing to say is how much inspiration that movie has had on me and everything I do. So it's true. I love escaping to Tokyo. So <laughs> I just want to be there. And there's yeah. a lot of new things going on. They're taking down the Gundam this year, the moving one. Oh, are they? Yeah. So really? this will be the last year of the moving Gundam until they put it back in the ocean and release it when Godzilla the movies comes out in April so oh, shit. damn yeah. Yeah. You know, all this I've been you, doing research you guys watch that new Godzilla movie no no I, and I heard damn. it's in Japanese yeah so it's dubbed mm-hmm. uh, not dubbed but sub and then mm-hmm. you said I sent Ronnie to go watch movies and he was like no nah, I couldn't I was just too high I couldn't go watch a movie that wasn't in English <laughs> too, too much <laughs> to focus crazy. on and but hey, I'm about to go check that shit out because Dude, I heard is the best movie all year. Mm. Really? Yeah, yeah that's it, what you were saying. It got such a high rating. It's a new Godzilla. No, and no I didn't promotion. Even know that was a thing. That's no what I'm saying. Promotion. Yeah, I didn't yeah. even know there was a go new crazy. Godzilla. What's check out fl- Godzilla, y'all. And you can tell it's in how, theaters. Theaters. Yeah, it's been out for like what a week? Yeah, week uh, no, like two, two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, two yeah. weeks. Yeah, okay. Okay. we might have to go check that out. Yeah, you guys go do that while you PTO, man. Okay. And let's celebrate the holidays with everyone having the next two weeks off. There will still be podcasts coming out, but. We will be enjoying ourselves over the next couple yeah. weeks and trying it's to have like, fun. Hell yeah, man! If For you the guys see, Japan. if you guys see yeah. P uh, Decadence, hit him up. Hit him I up. I will be at Decadence. It's be a decadence. Crazy. His decadent ass is gonna be at Decadence. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Don't mind me if I look fucked. Mind them actually. Avoid them at all costs. Yeah. Please. <laughs> he might need a shoulder to cry on. Please. Yeah. He's a very simp. Arms, man. arms to be in, <laughs> and f- boobs of my. F- 
for my face to lay in. Wow, <laughs> dude. There we go. <laughs> mommy milkers. I'm just being honest. Ma- some mommy, mommy milkers. milkers. <laughs> mommy's crazy. <laughs> Uh, Mommy. But, <laughs> <laughs> so for those of us that haven't let's go let's go into the you know Tokyo topic and stuff. <clears throat> um for those of us that haven't been there, you two, uh, mm-hmm. what is the one thing that would bring you there? Oh, I what do you mean? I got I obviously just... yours uh, we know it, but like for the viewers. <laughs> fucking money. No, no, what would bring you there? <laughs> oh, what do you like, mean what would bring me there? Like, like what? what's the reasons you like Tokyo oh, or Japan so much? What fucking, what, what why culture would you shock did go? you take? Fucking food? My favorite shit is over there, like anime, mangas, fucking you know, everywhere. Like just you know, beautiful scenery. I'm a city boy. I love to see the city. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to go uh, see the city. I want to see that futuristic vibe. And I'm trying to step foot in a Lawson's, man. I <laughs> yeah. need to go to a Lawson's. Lawson's man. Family Mart. Yeah. Every single one I of those strong so. zeros, strong zeros all day. Drink on the street. Um, yeah, man. I Which heard is crazy. It's crazy, dude. I heard the craziest <laughs> thing the other day was that the population of Japan is going to be cut. In half once One Piece ends. Really? What do you mean? Why? What? Everyone's gonna kill themselves. Oh my God. <laughs> I was Jesus like, Christ. I'm fuck, that's fuck? not funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. I saw. I literally saw the video, and they're like <laughs> talking about. Terrible. I said, why? They were literally talking about the preparation of uh, One Piece uh, ending and how they're gonna live their <laughs> lives after. And then I was just like, wait, is it that serious? And then I was like, I guess it is because we have Whoa. a lot of you guys oh, yeah. that are that love it so much. One Piece is you the greatest know? shit ever, yeah, man. What are you guys gonna do? <clears throat> <laughs> See, <laughs> what are you guys? What are you guys I'm, gonna, I'm the only one who fucking reads I'm saying shit. the viewers and then you, like, what are you gonna do, man? You guys are to come together, have a meeting, and like just talk about I'm it. It'd be so sad. <laughs> I'm gonna be so sad, honestly. And then also in the video, it's like think of, think about being a mother, right? It's oh your, my it's, god, it's your, it's your baby. No, one you're piece is your mother. You're, you're and watching. Raised no, you guys. you're watching it grow. Either or, whatever, whatever. Either Damn. or, either or, either or. And you just either as a child, you see your mother wither away. You know, as a as a mother, you see your child leave the home. It's just a hard thing to accept. You know, I was gonna say We're comparing it. anime to a mother leaving her child. <laughs> I was like, no, no, child, child die? A child leave, no, but like you know, you you get you get you become. Once again, you've heard. There's an issue, not an issue, okay, but there's a thing that happens where a mom has like I can't remember what it's called, but like when the child leaves the home, their nest, mm. they are they start getting like. Kind of like anxiety. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah. Okay. My mom went through yeah, it. I'm pretty sure every yeah. mom's go, go yeah. through it. Yeah. Like my but mom. I can't believe you're just comparing it to what? <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. It's going to be sad. Like, it's going to be as, sad. As, as, as a father, I'm sad. not comparing your cartoon to this. <laughs> No disrespect to the yeah. mothers and fathers out there. <laughs> There's so many other analogies you could have made, bro. But, but uh, I'm, I'm saying how sad it's going to be for the yeah. fans. Like it's it's that's how they feel. It's that's how real, they feel. It's a real. Moment, it's a real dude. life thing. Okay. Hey man, I've been through some shit. Number one selling th- manga in the world for 20 years. 20 years, Moose. Yeah. Beat yeah, Batman true. in comic sales, and Batman's number one. Why you gotta bring Batman? Uh, like, Yo, <laughs> what the that, fuck? That, think about the impact. Come on. Think about the impact. <laughs> I wouldn't compare it to my child. <laughs> <laughs> I literally thought you were going to be like, when your child, you have a child and you raise it and then it dies. <laughs> I didn't say die, yeah. but like it's the house. Damn. I didn't say that. I said when he leaves the house, when you don't see him anymore, you're sad. Like, oh, he's going to come only on Sunday. Exactly. Oh, that type of shit. Yes. But he never oh, comes man. at all. Okay. All right. It's like a dad who uh, would go get milk. I'll let you keep it. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> And <laughs> I'm trying to go to Japan soon, though. I agree. Team. Business trip. Mm-hmm. We got to do a business trip out there. Take go. the fam out there. Take every, do a podcast do out there. We do a podcast. Yeah. I'm gonna do a solo podcast. I'm gonna go talk sit out there by myself. Is that really? <laughs> no, is I'm that gonna be talking to <laughs> talk to himself. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to drunk Japanese people. I hope you do that. Don't Please be do it for real. I'm gonna like, hey. hey, can you put this? Bar- oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sir. <laughs> sorry, bowing down. <laughs> Make sure you guys check out Highball Chronicles on whatever it is, whatever platform it is, but it's so funny. It's just literally just drunk Japanese people, and they're just throwing up, sleeping on the floor. Because in Japan, you're actually allowed to drink in public and sleep in public, as long as you're not in the way of public. Um, Which is crazy. I didn't know that until you showed Which me those so videos. Crazy. We yeah. saw it. That shit is crazy. You just saw drunk people Dude, on the streets yeah. and playing. Right sleeping. when, like, 8 o'clock hits, mm-hmm. all of them go to the bars because salary men, they work really hard throughout the week, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so and weekends is when they're doing it. No, it's every literally day, every night, 8, 8 every p.m. Night. every night. Every night we see the trains packed with salary men just waiting to go to Shinjuku or wherever, and just getting plastered. 
We see them just getting dragged out of bars in the morning. Yep. Just and they go to out, work right after. Right yeah, they yeah. the workers just pull them out to the corner where the alley is and just let them sit sleep there. It's That's clean. Crazy. Yeah, it is clean for the most part. It is, <laughs> un- unless you threw up on yourself, which we've seen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh fuck! I was yeah. Like, oh That's shit! Nuts, bro. That's f- yeah. We were in Osaka, <laughs> I think, and then it was like, yeah, there's bars everywhere, and then this lady's getting pulled out, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> they all do it out here. <laughs> These guys are crunk, man. <laughs> That could have been me and Kellen, though. Honestly, there was uh, one day we're out on the street. Aleem. <laughs> Aleem has a lot of self control. I give you. I give you. This that, is Aleem. early on. I don't think okay. now, as a as a drinker, he probably would get. Oh, to does that he level. get crazy yeah, now? Okay. Aleem, Before though, he was more in control with alcohol. This was a while ago. Yeah, this was yeah. in 2019, and I think it was more so like he was in Japan and just wants to experience yeah. the and experience Japan yeah. first. But if we went again, he would get down. I think so. Going crazy. Oh, like, yeah. You guys got down, but you had yeah. a drinking buddy. Kel and I were going nuts out there. It was fun. Because we were, like, we were in Harajuku, and then we were just shoulder to shoulder with people, and we just like sh- chugged that shit on the side. We're like, I feel so much better now. Drinking in public and yeah. shit. For some reason, I love it. Like People hate the crowdedness. I'm like I'm mm-hmm. okay with like being in Japan and like being crowded versus Over New there. York. My experience in New York is the worst. New York? Yeah. yeah, it's just because, like, people in New York are disrespectful. Like, if you're trying to get through, they'll shoulder check you. They'll, they'll stay as stiff oh, as yeah. possible. Pickpockets. And, and yeah, well, everything, you know. And, <laughs> it, like, I'm a pretty big guy. So if you're going to push into me on purpose to get past me, then I, don't like, I don't like that approach. Mm-hmm. But in Japan, you follow all the rules. You literally go up the eleva- escalator on the left side. And just if you're going to stand on the escalator, you stay on the right side. Every every staircase has an arrow that tells you where to go. Which if you're going up or down, and people respect it. So a yeah. very respectful culture. Very very much so. That's very interesting. Yeah, and it's the way they put things together. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that is very going interesting, crazy, sir. Motherfuckers. P oh, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tequila with the Fox Thirteen oh, News. <laughs> Bro, oh, <God. laughs> it's raining. <laughs> Like, what? How's the weather out there, Tay? It's fucking cold. <laughs> Family guy. <Yeah>. Or Ollie. <laughs> oh he just yells God. in the mic. I'm on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm so but, weird. No, it would, be, it would be really fun if all of us can go to Japan together and just take a business trip and oh my God, find yeah. garments, find people that we can try and link I'm up with. I'm trying to make my own pants. I've seen this video on Instagram where you can go to the denim shop and mm-hmm. you can make your own... Look, They'll let you put your own uh, patch Ooh. patch on the back. They'll let you put your own buttons on, your own little fucking. Yeah, dude. I'm going to go get some glasses made. You don't need you don't need insurance um, if you're American or a foreigner, actually. And they will do it. It's literally like 70 bucks for an eye exam plus glasses. What? And it'll, it's, done, some. it's done in that. Well, how? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the same. <laughs> it's wow. FaceTime me. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing his eye test. <laughs> he said one or two. <laughs> I is like <laughs> no. And, then um, and I'm also gonna get a custom wedding ring. My going crazy. So because I, I don't wear mine because mine's too small. Mm-hmm. But we found this uh, place on the internet and they just they do band wedding bands. Mm. So Amy and I probably should go get some matching ones. And they're like pretty cheap and it's solid Cute. gold. Yeah. yeah, it's in Japan though. So wouldn't it be like a Japanese bracelet on your big ass finger? Well, it's custom, so they they actually <laughs> take the shape of your finger and then go mold it in a mold, mm. and then it, they Damn. yeah, and then you got them out there like Ping, yeah, and then Ping. I'm like, all That's right, crazy, <laughs> the dwarves, <I> <laughs> Lord of the Rings is just job like, done. <laughs> it's like how they do the mochi, and it's one oh, person yeah. at a time. <laughs> He's like, ah, ah, Dude, ah. that's just fucking tight though. Oh, I'm gonna tell you guys though, I, even though you kill it, you're you're gonna die if you eat fish. But when I went to Japan, fucking, I couldn't eat sushi for a year back in the States. Why? I couldn't eat it steak. it was so fucking good. It was the same thing with me in the steak. Oh, like you your, just your, your sushi standard changed. Yeah, oh. and it's cheaper, too. Cheap it's and cheaper, good. It's oh, cheaper, and everything's good. Yeah. I can't even, like, What are you lie. most excited to eat out there, man? Dude, I'm I'm such a big fan of Wagyu. I, it's At this point, it's kind of overrated because you can get Wagyu everywhere, but mm. just... I like all you can eat barbecues. Yeah. And anytime you get to experience that or sushi, I'm down. That's really it. I think you should go to a Wagyu farm, massage your own cow, kill it, and then eat it. See, <laughs> I would rather just kill it and just skip the rest of the process. <laughs> I'm not waiting for it to smoke a cigarette. Panic. I'm not waiting to sit there. <laughs> With your vape. Are you ready? 
<laughs> like this. Sorry, oh, yes. it's time. <laughs> I'm gonna kill your ass. Then I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna kill your ass. <laughs> uh, but no, and uh, I guess like I can say like I'm not really much of a fan of other Japanese cuisines. Ramen, I don't like uh, a lot. Blasphemous. So, um, weird. so weird. But it's just, and I don't like udon. <laughs> That's also crazy. <laughs> just because I grew up on Kofi Accent is too similar to Kofi Accent. Yeah. So what, about, I have what about curry? Curry, uh, not Japanese curry. Japanese Thai curry, curry is better. Fucking than diabolical. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's very sweet. It's a diabolical. <laughs> For the 7 Eleven, though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hit that every day. Dude, onigiri. Does it, oh. um, doesn't Nigo mm-hmm. got like a restaurant out there or something? Mm-hmm. Nigo mm-hmm. has a restaurant for his curry, yeah. right? Yeah. Something like that. And then, uh, oh, there's, dude, you can get some of the best pizza in Japan, too. Literally some of the best pizza. Like, they have a Michelin star award-winning pizza out there. Mm. So I'm excited Everything. for that. And we're going to do a bunch of little things, too. Like, we're going to um, Pearl Pearl Land, which is the San Real theme park. Mm-hmm. Um, Studio gonna... Ghibli Land? <laughs> <laughs> I wish, but they, the tickets sold out. Ghibli? On that day? Oh, or just... really? No, the whole month of December is already Woo! sold out. So they, they did pre-sales in November, actually November 26th that, on my birthday. And... Uh, we we tried to book it last week because we didn't think it was gonna sell out, mm. and yeah, they're sold out. We can't Damn. even go to the Studio uh, Ghibli. By the way, <laughs> it's Studio Ghibli. Man. Ghibli or Ghibli, guys? We're gonna do a poll. Nessie, make it short about this. Tag Hayao Miyazaki. Let's get him. Let's get the man. Yo, fuck in that this. guy. Fuck what he said. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 I'm trying to get in the next movie, <laughs> man. If Robert Pattinson can do it, we can do it. He's like, you got this, Mayaka. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he was fucking rad in that movie. Was he, was, he was my favorite character. He's but you watched, he's the, the you watched it in English, too. Yeah, yeah I watched he's the heron. English. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. the heron. Okay. Which I'm not going to spoil anything because the movie's just a trip, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Mayako, <laughs> let me find your mother. That was pretty fucking good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. I'm out he here said, I could have done, done it. No, I I just want to meet Robert Pattinson, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, the is one. Is that your Batman? No. That's my Batman. That's his Batman, but not also just his Batman, but his first man of choice. And, my, oh, uh, yeah. and also yeah. Maddie's oh, yeah. first man of choice. Yeah, yeah so we could share his ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. He's great. He's so versatile, bro. <laughs> That's what I say about Jake Gyllenhaal. He's no, I love Jake Gyllenhaal. That's what I say. <laughs> Fuck, man. Just the response after. <laughs> 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 We're gonna share him. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like they've already yeah, shared him. You know I mean? <laughs> he's look. great. He sounds great. Okay. <laughs> Shit, uh, he's the best uh, Batman that is right now. Crazy. There's, bro. there's a clip that is going around. Um, you guys remember that movie with Jake Gyllenhaal? It's a cop movie with the Mexican cop. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, and to watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a very yeah. sad ending. Yes. But mm-hmm. there's a part where in the movie he's like, I would blow him, and then the, yeah, the other, his dude. partner was like. Dude, I can't take you serious Dude. sometimes. He goes, No, I'm serious. I would blow him. And I'm like, you know what? That's my number one right there. That's my number one actor right there. <laughs> Fucking sent that clip to me too. <laughs> I was like, that shit yeah. was funny. He's like, no, I'm I'm being serious. <laughs> I seen that clip too. It's been going around yeah. actually. <clears throat> oh man. Bro. Boo boo too straight for this. Hold Anyways, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Back to um, the Christmas spirit. <laughs> yeah. Back to the Christmas spirit. <laughs> Some Christmas shit, man. Uh <laughs> growing up, did you guys have any favorite mil- moments that are memorable? You know, from Christmas time. Oh, during Christmas? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll start off with the parent here. Man. You, you get to go through stuff that we don't get to experience. One thing that I remember the most about Christmas um, when my grandpa was alive is he had that VHS on. Every Christmas mm-hmm. morning, we would record every Christmas on this VHS recorder thing. He always said we had the old tape still. That was one thing that I remembered a lot, which was dope. I remember That's always right. getting new shoes. New shoes for Christmas mm-hmm. all day. And I remember I got a shirt, a G Unit t shirt with 50 Cent's face on it. One of my favorite <laughs> Christmas presents. That's right. Because my grandma didn't want to buy that shit for me. That's hard as fuck. She did not want to buy that, but she bought it for me anyway. Damn. Oh, crazy. I bought I myself like, a G Unit chain from Gen X in the seventh grade mm-hmm. with my Christmas money. See? Yeah. And some hurricanes. <laughs> Going crazy. Damn, know. dude, you guys, uh, you well, your whole world, well, I can't even speak. What the oh, fuck? Oh, your whole Madison. wardrobe was from Gen X. Yo, my, it still is. Fucking, so I still got a shocker wear right now. Fucking pro club shocker wear and shit. Yeah, that's what happens when you're kind of a bigger guy, though. So you don't really get to shop around. Mm-hmm. Like, I, if I tried to wear Inca Blue back in the day and I wore a 2XL, I would look like uh, a fat guy trying to fit into a skinny guy's body. I remember my cousins is always getting like Aeropostale and Hollister and shit for Christmas. Oh God, I would I burn this. Like, bro, come on. Bro, that was uh, my aunts that, are, especially the ones in uh, Chicago, they would get me that shit every year. And I'm like, 
No, man. <laughs> My, oh my it's God. crazy because my aunts in Portland, they would always, only get me Mark Echo for about a whole year. See, but Mark Echo is dope. And yeah, it was no, cool for a time. Mark, uh, for looking time? back at the fits now, I was like, those are some goofy ass fits because they would get me a full like pant and shirt, and I would go to school pulled up like that. <laughs> and now that I look at it, that's you guys fire. see how you guys see how I dressed now, and I was like, man, I was so that's stupid, man. Who fire, let me? <laughs> who let me go out of my house like this? I mean, we all have those. I had I even I even went through the Gen X phase where it was those neon tees and then the plaid shorts, and that shit was the oh, ugliest that's shit ever. Crazy. Yeah. yeah, and Oregon that was like a big thing. That was crazy. So we, they like had prep? these plaid checker line shorts. Oh, with the and neon. then with a neon like polo. And like I had this fucking That's lime crazy. green ass polo I would wear every day to no, school. I, I remember hmm. shit like that. In but that was like a phase yeah. though, you know. Everyone was going through the neon color phase. I was gonna say that's the, it's like right before like jerking and yeah, I was gonna yeah, say right, yeah. like in the it midst was right of it, like in the midst of it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a uh, old Kanye tour when he did the in the dark tour. Yeah. Yeah. And um, that's the, the pink the, polos. Yeah, the shades pink too. Polos, so the yeah, lights everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Any memorable Christmas moments? I know you. We disliked it, but there has to be some. Yeah, you're a Grinch. Yeah, Scrooge. I'm trying to think and actually remember my Christmases. Okay, you do that. What about you, sir? Um, well, this will be your first uh, Christmas of Harvey. I know, dude. We're so stoked. Harvey Honestly. Dent. First Christmas as a family. Oh, yeah, so as a sweet. married man. I know. It was very sweet. It was really, like, dude, it was just, it's just so nice. It just, you have your own space. Even though we can't find a fucking <laughs> tree. We want, what do like, you mean? Well, we can, but it's like, why am I going to pay 50 bucks for this little... F- we literally want a tree like three go, feet tall. Go to Michael's, man. Michael's, Michael's got Hobby Lobby. Hobby, Hobby Lobby or Michael's? Dude, Hobby Lobby or Michael's. <laughs> All yeah, right. That's go it. There. You'll find them there. Got to go get Hobby Lobby be having crazy sales. They've been having crazy tr- Christmas sales since September. Huh. So I having my own home made me realize where the seasons were weird for shopping for stuff. Right when June and July hits, they're already selling uh, Halloween stuff. And then right yeah. when September hits, they're switching out the Halloween stuff with oh, Christmas stuff. Right away. Right away. No, thank, they're skip over Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I dislike <laughs> I, yeah. Christmas as a I'm holiday. Like, Let me get my food first. And also, <laughs> shout out to all you kids or people that have like birthdays on holidays where you have to share with everyone yeah, else. Bro. It's so ass, dude. Shout out to you. That's be crazy. strong. Be strong. He said be strong. Any December yeah. babies. You yeah, got they December babies. Yeah. Dude, I was born on Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. There was no thanks there. <laughs> Thanks for being born, Ted. Yeah. <laughs> I look at my mom every year. I'm like, you better be grateful I was born. <laughs> Jeez, bro. Yeah, you're not going to give me a gift. Yeah, you're be not. thankful. Yeah. No, and, <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> and a shout out to the ones that are born next to a sibling in age. Or not age, but in, in dates. In the same they month. They have to share birthdays. Yeah. Like, that's too crazy, too. Dude, my brother's is in, is in June and mine is in May. And we would still, like, have that middle birthday together yeah. when we were kids. It was yeah. actually kind of tight, though. My, yeah. my niece mm-hmm. and nephew did that for a while, but they've separated it now. Mm-hmm. But they yeah. have to do it for, like... Mikey and Anori is going to be sharing birthdays all day. Fuck all this I think shit. it's tight. Dude. I think it's tight. No, it's not tight when you're a boy and then you get a Hello Kitty plate and you're just like, what the fuck am I going <laughs> to Hello true. Kitty plates, dude? <laughs> yeah, we got a place. You invite all your friends. <laughs> you invite all your friends to your birthday party from school and then they're like... Why do you have Hello Kitty plates? What is this? You have Hello Kitty? <laughs> and you're being made fun of at school the next it day. It ain't even like that. They're like, Tay, where's your like zoo that. pals, Tay? Yeah, you get, zoo pals you get bullied, dude. <laughs> That's why I became the bully. You, well, you guys don't like Sanrio? Bully. You don't like Bats Maru? That's my favorite one. <laughs> I'm, I'm like the... I'm a Karopi kind of guy. Yeah, the yeah. frog, right? Mm-hmm. Karopi That's going crazy. Dude. The other guy's too... Uh, he's, he's too cool. What's I'm the, not cool What's the bunny, the rabbit? Peach... Dude, I don't know the characters. <laughs> I don't know. It starts with a P, though. He's a bunny looking dude. Is it white? White bunny? White. Oh, my yeah. melody, dude. No, my melody. <laughs> is that. Is, 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 is she a bunny? My melody's a bunny. There's another one that starts with a P and is a white and black bunny. Dude, I'm going to look that up. I'm have to look Bro, this up. I didn't now. even get to finish my story. Yeah, yeah, no, you finished all the story. You that up. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, this is going to not be as cool. But uh, shout out to my cousin, Boy, back, at, back in the day. Like his mom's side of the family, and then our side of the family, his dad's side, we would all get together and have like a Christmas party yep. um, every Christmas Eve. So that lasted probably like my whole childhood up until the age of like 15, 16. Yeah, because yeah, that's when 16. everybody started. I feel like, like 15, how that 16. was like me and you at Tout House and shit. I feel like during Thanksgiving and Christmas, we'd always link up and shit. Yeah, when we were oh, yeah, super young. Yeah, when we were And young, it was, uh, dude, like, my aunt makes the best lasagna and the best 
chicken casserole. And I'll be looking for that every year. Chicken that's the casserole? Only time. Yeah. Which is just Crazy. fucking pasta, chicken, cheese, and cream of chicken, and that's it. But yep. it's so good for some reason. So, yeah, every year we do that. We just play video games, exchange presents, and then stay up until, like, freaking 6 a.m. probably. I think that is some of my favorite moments, too, mm-hmm. during yeah. Christmas time. Is that It wasn't the gifts. It was more like we had sleepovers. Yeah. yeah. You know, with yeah. all the cousins. The family and, like, gatherings. You guys are now unlocking another memory. Yeah, like, yeah. Memories of mine now. Yeah, like I watching know, hentai in a basement together. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Shout out to us, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a and he's a puppy. Uh, Pachaco. He's a puppy. Yeah. I was, I was, I was like I was the hentai. <laughs> Wait, who are these characters we're talking about? Sanrio. 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 You know Hello Hello Kitty. Kitty. It's a Hell uh, Kitty. He's universe. a puppy. Yeah. Who's a duck? Oh, the little fly. Little fly. Yeah. Who's the duck? The black. There yeah. is a duck. There. Do they have like almost everything? The black and white duck with the little. No, no that's a batsman. That's a. He's a penguin. Oh, it's, oh, it's a penguin. Yeah, that's a penguin. Duh, it's quack, quack, bro. Yeah, quack. Dude, yeah, dude. My quack. I was like, look, my Melody is the rabbit. Okay, I'm, that's a I'm weird big name. Tripping, man. Yeah, yeah, you are. I'm big tripping. Damn. Yeah, they should bring back the San Rio store to a uh, Southtown. One thing I remember. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, I was actually gonna say that. I remember the, the malls being popping during Christmas when we were. Oh younger. my god, dude! Yeah. Should we go take a Christmas photo <laughs> with just, Santa? Yeah, us the the crew going crazy. It's too late now. No, it's not. We can do it after we get. We can go hire someone to be Santa for us real quick. And we just. <laughs> Or David. you know what? When we get back, we're taking JC Penny cards, like photo cards, okay? Oh god. Going crazy. We're gonna go do that. I'm That's a trend that. right now. Yeah. That's it. We'll get crazy. we'll all get like pictures a anytime. Yeah, we're down, I'm down to get some crazy sweaters or something. And we'll match. For that. Okay. I'll be tight. Let's do it, man. Yeah. yeah. But oh yeah, see for me for Christmas too is uh as much as I disliked it, I I loved it at the same time being able to spend time with people. Like mm-hmm. the fam going crazy. When you're especially growing up in Portland, we didn't have too many family members out there. So yeah. whoever the family friends were that carried my childhood with them yeah. and made me the person I am, you know, shout out to them because without them, Portland would have sucked. That's crazy mm-hmm. that you say Portland because we have a home video where we celebrated Christmas in Portland yep. with Uncle Cat. We did the lobster mm-hmm. shit. We went yep. we did oh, all that tight. shit. Yeah, we went. I think that's crazy. an awesome thing about holidays and christmas even though like you know it's technically a religious holiday but everybody just makes it their own yeah. especially like since i was a kid it was a lot of bigger family events but now everybody's like so spread out right that we've kind of adapted and created new traditions and even yeah. now like i feel like this next year since i'm finally out of my parents house it's going to be even different than from before yeah so yeah. you always just make it your own man and just like it, true. find a way to enjoy the holiday because once it gets once you take down the lights and everything it gets all gray I'm like, oh man, this is when it really sucks. <laughs> it's all wet. It's it all man. It's so sad. Just leave it, it does, up. dude. It <laughs> blows me you out. You just leave it up until summertime. No, it's not the same. We don't <laughs> take down our tree for like three exactly. months. I can't listen to Insync Holiday. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. It's you a can. crime. No, it's not. <laughs> I can't. It's a crime. So, dude, when I when when I'm wa- like rewatching a TV show and it's a holiday episode, I gotta skip that bitch. Really? Yeah, I can't. That's crazy. What? You're that, you're that strict gets, on yourself. I I love to celebrate in the season when it's not when I'm watching it. When it's not that time, it makes me bummed out because I'm like, it's not cohesive. It doesn't make sense. You don't You're watch so edgy. You don't, <laughs> You're such an edgy person. You don't watch a Treehouse of Horrors until it's fucking Halloween. I watch if it's on. That's true. I do watch. People it. watch. Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> People watch Halloween when it's on Halloween. But if it's a Christmas episode, hell no, I'm fucking skipping over that bitch. That's crazy. Like, except, I always, I always watch Home Alone. Except the bear. <laughs> with the Bears Christmas episode, I'll rewatch that all the time. Going that, that one's yeah. too stressful to watch. That one but is you get stressful. To, you get to see why. Wait, is it, was that Christmas or Thanksgiving? I think Christmas. it was Thanksgiving. Chris. Christmas, Seven Fishes. Christmas, Seven it's Fishes. It's Italian. It is. Oh, uh, Christmas, yeah. Seven oh, Fishes. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That shit's crazy, dude. Have you, you, have, you, have you caught up? Dude, dude, you I'm guys got to catch up. No, he needs to catch He needs to watch it, I watched it all, man. Yeah, that watch it all? Dude, I was so... I'm literally telling you, that episode is so stressful to watch because there's so much shit going on. Mom yelling at everyone, kids yeah. yelling at everyone. You got Richie fucking fighting with everyone. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. But then you get to see why they are yeah, the yeah, way yeah. they are. And then it, it makes, makes sense, sense going later on into the show. Mm-hmm. Excited for season three when they start yeah, man, shooting. Yeah, man. If you guys haven't watched The Bear yet... You're missing out. You're really Tap missing in. out. Yeah. That's a good-ass show. <laughs> Speaking of uh, shows and TV... Or, oh, my God. Shows and TV. That doesn't make sense. Shows and movies. Uh, what's your guys' favorite like Christmas movie or Christmas show? Man, uh, 
mine would have to just be Home Alone because I always uh, fantasize of getting robbed and I have to set up booby <laughs> traps around the yeah. house. I've always fantasized about yeah. getting robbed. <laughs> you know, like as a kid, it's so cool. It's so fire. It's like, man, I wish some fools would pull it's up try on me. me. I wish someone would try me. me. Yeah, that's how he was too in the movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, my parents left me on Christmas. It's just that that uh, that one scene where he has that TV on and he's in that hotel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's like, I got my so funny. It's like as a kid, he I would never. I was a kid, I would never think about doing half the stuff he did, and that's yeah. why it's movie magic, right? Like mm-hmm. the way that they made the, you know, Macaulay Culkin as a child. Play as an adult role though, yeah. Because like he did shit that kids would that never think of. He was, he's I'm not talent, making, bro. Yeah. I'm not making no booby trap with a fucking paint can swinging from the top, left, the right. Yeah, that shit you know, is dope. Or the he iron flame, a flamethrower. Fucking yeah. the. Well, I probably do the ice on the steps, but yeah. See, that's yeah. That, like shit like that's that. You you walk into my side, I have chopsticks on the floor like this, <laughs> broken in half. <laughs> <laughs> Some stupid shit, you know. And oh. I would think about stuff like that as a kid. Home Alone goes I crazy. About that. Yeah, Jack Frost. Jack Frost. Dude, which one with the, the snowman? Frost. With Michael Keaton? Yeah. I Dude. don't know names, but <laughs> Jack Frost, the horror one. No, horror that one, one was good. I don't I know. Remember the you I remember before about. Christmas. No, wait. There's, there's a horror about. Jack Frost. It, that shit was so crazy. It's we when should... homie's dad turns into a snowman and shit. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's a the... kids movie, right? It's a... yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that one, but there's also a horror version of it where he's a snowman killing people. What the fuck? Yeah, somebody pull this up. Yeah, that's crazy. No, I know. I think I know what movie he's talking about. They had they had two of them. I yeah. feel like I do, but I don't know. I don't have know. You I've never seen, seen um, it. It's a snowman I've that kills people. Yeah. Have you guys seen uh, Jingle All the Way with Arner, Arnold Schwartz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. Don't, do not don't say the full name. Yeah. Yeah. Arnold Schwartz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop it right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get it. <laughs> it's stupid. It's, it's probably How worse. How have we not had said his name before on this pod? I thought we did. No, we've never brought him up. Arnold a, Schwartz. Ed, there's a there's a there's a joke <laughs> going around right now that he wants to change his name, but take out the Schwartz. <laughs> Shut the <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Y'all better stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Arnold. But yeah, no. Like, so Home Alone, the Elf was good. Polar Express. Polar Express was good. Oh, dude, bro. Maddie hates the Polar Express. Mikey really? was obsessed yeah. with Polar Express, bro. I can't watch that shit again. <laughs> Dude, we used to watch it every day. Do you like Frozen like, as a Christmas movie? Uh, no, just an everyday, no, everyday, just movie. A everyday yeah. movie. That's just a Norwegian movie. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my Norwegians. One of my favorite <laughs> movies to watch during Christmas time was Atlantis. The really? second one. Yeah, for some reason I loved it. I loved Atlantis when I was younger. There was yeah. there's a part where part they're part two. <laughs> yeah, part two. Um there's that one because you know they're it's broken up the sections of the movie where they're finding different artifacts. And it was like the Viking one. And they were like mm-hmm. in snow and shit. And I was like, man, I love watching this movie during Christmas. Yeah. Okay. What about you, P? What do you got? Uh, bro, none. What do you mean? How do you, what do you mean? None. You got to have one. All right, girls out here, make sure you educate our man on uh, Christmas stuff. Please. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'll watch the movie with you. <laughs> Come on. You don't have <laughs> He'll any, watch you watch the movie. Any Christmas thing <laughs> that you like would look forward to? Like any movie that you would like to watch during this time? Harry Show. Potter. I love Harry Potter. No, right Harry now. Potter's lit. I love that, Harry Potter. That counts. There's a um, there's a part in the movie, the first movie, where you can watch it. It's like, and it, it, at the same time, the movie plays. You can watch it during like eleven twenty four, like p.m. and it'll hit Christmas at the really? same time. It hits oh, Christmas during the movie. That's crazy. So people Damn. actually synchronize that kind of shit, and I'm like, that's wow, crazy. Insane. Happy that's Christmas, Ron. <laughs> 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 yeah, there you go. <laughs> Happy Christmas, <laughs> Harry. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I fuck with Christmas, okay? <laughs> yeah, Damn. We, we know he's wearing a Christmas sweater. Yeah. The only one. <laughs> I was trying to find Christmas hats or like Santa hats today. They didn't have any blue ones where I went. Yeah, man. I was kind of sad. Oh, oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, sad. bro, you're so sad. <laughs> bro, they didn't tell me. Nobody told me shit. <laughs> There's like, they only had red ones. And I was like, oh, I guess he just doesn't want red ones. No. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to have a blue Nobody Christmas. explained this shit to me. God no, damn it. God damn it, you. Okay, you got no Christmas movie? No, I don't. Dude, you're such a fun. Scrooge, bro. I, know, so I sound fun. like a fucking boring ass old man Not right no now. No Grinch? No nothing? Don't, I, I don't. Okay, what? what, what a, very, you didn't watch Jim Carrey's Grinch? Dr. Seuss? Like, that one was a good one. Dr. Seuss. Or no, not, not Jim Carrey. Um, Who is it? No, it was Jim Carrey. No, there's another That's one. Grinch? No, there's the other one where he plays. Oh, no, it's Dr. Seuss. 
Yeah, Austin, I was going to say Dr. The guy from Austin, Seuss. Michael Myers, mm-hmm. he plays Dr. Seuss, yeah. not the Grinch. But no, oh, Jim Carrey the, plays the Grinch. I'm I so confused. Okay, I, yeah. I, I didn't yeah. really We're watch. Good. I got the universe, the universe mixed up. Yeah, a little. yeah, okay, okay. I hardly watch movies. I didn't watch Christmas movies, I'll tell you what. Well, you didn't watch no TV? We well, didn't have TV. Like <laughs> that. Like you that, got Gamecast? <laughs> <laughs> the base screen TV was for karaoke only. Yeah. Huh? We had cable for a short amount of time. Mm-hmm. Like here and there, but it's like on an, it was on. I get off. that. It was the same for me. We too. were lucky. Yeah. We had cable our, a whole entire childhood. So. I had VHSs uh, rewatch all year yeah. long. Yeah, same. Yeah, see, we were kind of lucky in a way. We had mm-hmm. uh, on demand, so I can watch Lincoln Park music videos all day. Going crazy. <laughs> I didn't have internet until I was eighteen, though. So what's that shit where you can play it back? You can record it. Vivo, and... Tivo, Tivo, Tivo. Oh, Vivo is the player. <laughs> mm-hmm. On Evo the, Las Vegas. Oh yeah, yeah I remember. Yeah, all the white homies had Tivo. I was like, damn man. Yeah, bro, we can record this. Play this it, back. Man. Y'all got it, man. We it's had illegal fucking cable. I don't know yeah, how man, my We dad had got it. illegal direct TV. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah. That same with me too. Yeah, if you had the uncle that knew what's up, tapped into the neighbor's shit or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what all they I was, were doing. Dude, I had Canadian cable one time. <laughs> what the heck? Because my dad was just like. Getting it somehow. <laughs> yeah, because you get the Laos channels, right? Yeah, we you got get, like, the, Laos the Laos channels and the Thai oh. channels with the. Yeah. So it probably comes with all that before shit. The, yeah, it before does. the Roku was a thing, that's yeah. what it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the shit yeah. they had. Yeah, it's the direct TV. My mom and the, dad had that shit with yeah. the card. They had they had some type of special card they put in the direct TV receiver box. That's what we had. That's exactly what he had. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. just broadcasting straight from Laos. <laughs> It's like this, and then Mulan all day, and then you're like watching these dramas. Yeah, yeah. Lacan every day. I was Lacan. into Lacan at some points too, man. It's, Dude, it okay. I, People I talk a lot of shit about K dramas because there's like cer- there's so, a certain thing that K dramas do where they do this like rewind scene, mm-hmm. and they do it over and over and over. Dude, the dramatic effect in all of all drama, like all drama, Thai dramas is fucking crazy. It is crazy. You have someone crying for like five minutes. Bro, my grandma. Oh yeah, dude. Right? Yeah, they just be crying every time. I, every time <laughs> they watch it, anything, I look. They're they're crying. Yeah, they're crying. And anytime they have like a physical like fight scene, it would do like the shake camera, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it would be like lagging. Oh, <laughs> <forth, yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Go <laughs> <laughs> <Boy>, ahead. <laughs> pee, pee. <laughs> There you guys go. You guys need to play. You guys need to play out a scene right now. You guys are a fighting domestic couple right now, and just you're the woman, he's the man. And he's he's came home. There's new food on the table. Go. And it would be and a, you're drunk. He would just drunk. be like, uh, uh, poked out. Wow. Poked out. Wow. That's what, I forgot how you say it. We call Kimo. Hey, Jung. Hey, Hey, Jung. Hey, Jung. Hey, Kong Kim Duty. A beer loud, a bottle in his hand, like this is walking into the house. What you do, guy? <laughs> so we got sponsored, guys. There we, we go. Sponsored. sponsored by Beer Loud. <laughs> Bro. <Bruh. laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god. We got any Laos content creators? Let us know, dude. We're trying to. We're trying to. We're still. We're trying to expand we are. a little more on the on the podcast. So if we got, well, actually anyone, if you guys got people <laughs> that you guys want Not on the podcast, laughs, we would yeah. like to step. Step our game up and try to have more guests yes. on that we can reverse it, make our more versatile and variety exactly. for your viewers. You know, yeah, um, going crazy. So you know, I, like I said, we've I've been looking at our subscribers, and I notice a lot of more Laos in in centric channels are following mm-hmm. us now. Yeah, and I'm trying to you know get connected with them. Shout outs to all the people, man, especially our people for yeah. sure, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, damn, what a year has been, y'all. Yeah, it's been a it's, crazy year. Man. Shit, we did this for eight months. Eight yeah, months. Oh, months. dude, honestly, yeah. since January, yeah. since pretty but much. Right? Yeah, but I'm saying that like eight months legitimately have yeah. episodes yeah. out. That's crazy. We've been, we've been yeah. at it for a little bit, man. Yeah. And shout we'll, outs mm, to you. We'll do something special yeah. for the year, Mark. You yeah. know, let's mm. suggest something. You know, let us know what you'd like to see. What you'd like to <laughs> talk about. Who you'd like to see? 100 likes, you can watch a movie with P. Dude. I mean, you can watch a movie with me regardless. No, no, no. Likes. We'll rent out the theater for you. Oh, wow. You guys don't watch Wait, he gets it by himself? I sweet. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> you let him do that, man. What? It's the least we can do for the intern. <laughs> That's true, I guess. <laughs> Imagine taking a girl on the first date and you rent out the whole theater. That's sick, honestly. Or she That'd just thinks the theater's just empty. Because <laughs> it's a boring ass movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, on a Monday, nobody's there. We've Which had was, that. Yeah, babe, I yeah. rented out the Monday. whole theater. This is for us, baby. Yeah, this is for us, baby. I'm, it's so, like, ha- I'm so happy for you to be Why'd here. Why'd you uh, pick one of the Bollywood movies? <laughs> <laughs> he said it. It's her subtitles. <laughs> 
This is the one Indian couple that's in the front. <laughs> I thought you rented this out for all of us. Uh, they, I saw them outside. I knew so, they wanted I to watch the movie. Ba- I felt bad. <laughs> they wanted to watch this movie, and I felt bad. You know, it's the only screening here today. So, <laughs> but going back on the year, we have been at this kind of hard for the last eight months. Um, you know, when we started doing the podcast stuff, we came into this using the podcast as a way to get back into clothing, right? Yeah. And using this more as a marketing thing, and then became so much bigger than that, and then bigger than us, and then bigger than yeah. everything around us. And yeah. we've been able to build a community that tunes in every Wednesday to follow yeah. us. And so we have so many like guests come on and just yeah, been man. feeding so much knowledge. It's like, true. Yeah. Like if if you guys would have asked me last year if this is what it would have been, I would have been like, I would have never guessed, man. Like, no way. I no way. I always guessed. knew from the beginning. Like, I would have never guessed. I always it knew. I knew we were going to have guests on. I didn't know it was going to be like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how informative it was, was going to be. I didn't know how much. Oh, yeah. Like Michael McHenry said, the more deposits you make, in. eventually you can cash out. You yeah. can make that withdrawal. Mm-hmm. And I feel like throughout the years, all of us have made enough deposits with a lot of people that yeah. Yeah. having a moment like this, we can withdraw. And it's like, hey, we have a podcast. Would you yeah. like to come be on it? And we've only had one person say no, and it's more on they would love to, but... They're more on the behind the camera side, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, man. Shout and, outs to all the guests that's came on so far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and so while we're so just, lucky, dude. No, yeah, we're so lucky to, to sit down with you guys and yeah. for you guys to share the knowledge you guys have taken over your lives and be able to share it with us and our viewers as well yeah. mm-hmm. on a brand new <laughs> podcast. Yeah, you know, <laughs> on a brand you know, new fresh yeah. podcast. You and know. some of us we have. Haven't even met once, and you're willing to exactly. take the time, yeah, to actually have. Exactly. We've had yeah. we've had a lot of those guests this year. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Even family members when we had Suda on, and you learned yeah, a lot bro. about like she's your cousin, and you <laughs> learned a lot more about her yeah. on the episode yeah, than dope. the whole entire time. It's and been dope. you know, I, like when we had Gabe on the episode, that was more like, man, this is like my dad's best friend, mm-hmm. and I got to learn mm-hmm. where where my dad's childhood was. And right. even after the podcast, we chopped it up. He goes, yeah, there was a time where like your dad just disappeared, you know. And he was like, if we were like 15 years old, I'm like, bro, I was like, I was in my mom's stomach at 15 years old. So mm-hmm. like the timelines matched up for when my parents disappeared away from that life and mm-hmm. he didn't see them for a while. Right. Mm-hmm. So it was like, it's crazy. Man. Really cool to see. It's crazy. Even the folks that we've been tapped in with and just getting to know them a little bit more. It's Ferrari like, and all those guys. Ferrari, like Ferrari, Afro Stella, food, like, you know, all these this, people that we've been tapped yeah. in for a minute. It's like, yeah, man, I'm so glad that we got to hear the story and the journey and. Yeah. You know, bullshit with them for a little bit. It's yeah. Dope. It's been dope, man. Shout mm-hmm. outs to y'all for real. Going back on um, the year, we've had a lot of chef specials and a lot of guests. You know, what is some of the most memorable ones that you guys have taken into your personal life? If 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 you guys have taken one. That's a tough one, man. There's um, I think Iden's resonated really well with me. Or just be kind to yourself and be useful to others. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And that, one really, that one really hit me. I'm not going to lie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, mine was like the Michael McHenry one. Is like, yeah, man. we need more finishers than we need starters, right? right. You can start, anyone can start anything in life. Is how many of those people that start finish, finished, yeah. right? right. Mm-hmm. So it was making, we're, that's what our goal is here. My goal now for us is to make it across that finish line. Say we did this and yeah. went with it at 110%, yeah. you know, yeah. with everything we can do. That's true. I just <clears throat> like everyone's, uh, what everyone's been saying, man. Just be you and stay passionate and enjoy what you do. And, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of people have said kind of all the same, all of these things. Yeah, it's all in, the same. Their, own, in their own different way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And it's just to be reiterate those things. Cause it's so true. You got to you gotta really believe in yourself mm-hmm. and, and stay at it and enjoy what you do. And so, you know, I just like it all, man. Every chef special that we have is kind of all connected in some way, which is really mm-hmm. cool. We're gonna have to make a recap video of all of them. Yeah, I'm it's gonna. Really I'll try and get crazy. that done. I'll try yeah. and get that worked on. That'd be wild. Yeah. That'd be tough. I'm not gonna lie. That because, would be tough. Because man, everyone yeah. all said the same shit, man. For yeah. the for the it's most like, part, just go out and do it, man. Yeah, like go uh, and do it. don't don't waste another second. <laughs> Chase your type dreams. Shit. Yeah. Be yourself. Yeah. Be so. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, APB <laughs> coming to you soon. <laughs> APB. Uh, but yeah, so like this year has been kind of crazy mm-hmm. when we decided to get the back <clears throat> up, and I just remember having that moment, and I knew that we can do something like this when I decided to say, "Hey, let's start this clothing business back up. Let's start doing all this yeah. stuff." And mm-hmm. like you guys are on board, right? Right when I came back from California, and you know, complex, complex, something like complex gone really sparked my interest back into what we once loved and just being around all the clothing being around all the creators you know and 
being able to just respark that in me and then do it for you guys, you know, yeah. it, and build the platform we have now <laughs> has been mm-hmm. kind of wild because we have people on here every week, two yeah. times a week. And it's always something that's it's like, damn, we have this in Utah. Yeah, really. We have all these mind. people here. It's crazy. Yeah. And all you really have to do is just stay connected with the right people and then yeah, man. Stay reach tapping. out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> reach out. Don't be afraid to say be hi. Genuine too. You'd be, be genuine. surprised. Yeah. yeah. Be yourself. Hundred mm. percent. Yeah, it's true, man. All day. It was really nice. It's it's just nice to have a different faces and colors mm-hmm. and cultures. Yeah. And able to just understand and see the perspective of how they grew up. Yeah. And honestly, Good therapeutic. Thing. Because yeah. like we get to kind of really get is, a lot man. of reassurance. Yeah. And have like a lot of our questions answered, like literally <sighs> and figuratively. And uh yeah. I don't know, just knowing that other people have all these like different struggles and having to adapt Mm -hmm. and like, we're kind of doing that right now. And even in the past, like, man, we didn't have none of this. We just had to figure it out. And (laughs) we just felt like big pieces of craps, man, Mm -hmm. trying to figure all this shit out. And then come to realize that everybody's going through it, you know, in their own way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everyone's well, struggling in some way in the on this creative path. Yeah, a good uh, example you know. was uh, Manson's too. Because when I like first met him, like when he was here, I was like, "Dan's guy's like the happiest, like go luckiest guy ever." But he's yeah. he's like, I've been in the fucking trenches, fucking holding down a business and having right. to like learn and adapt to that. Yeah, and it was like, dude, he's super cool. Like yeah. he was one of those yeah. guys that were really living great, paycheck like, to paycheck yeah. in Vegas, like yeah. so like, and that's the stories we do need. It was like, mm-hmm. what is what was that juice? What do you call made? it? Zoot juice? Zoot, Zoot, yeah, Zoot, 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 Zoot juice? Zoot juice or something? Yeah, it's just yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Take care of yourselves, big guys. Don't, <laughs> don't do the zoo juice. Don't, don't do the zoo juice. Unless you need to. Unless you need to make it to your next paycheck. Then, <laughs> Man, one of my favorite episodes was um was the episode with your cousin from Cali. Oh, yeah. Oh, Vivian. Yeah, Vivian, Vivian was tight. Like, that, that is one. the one of the most slept on ones. Yeah. Because so I really like that episode. Yeah, that the was... Uh, that one, I feel like... That that episode, I feel like I was really able to break out of that shell of just being nervous in front of the camera type mm. shit, you know? That's <laughs> yeah. how it felt like for the first few episodes. I was like, damn, really? man, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, don't shit. To, I don't know how to act. You know, yeah. so, like, <laughs> what do I do with my hands? Getting out of getting out of that and, and like yeah, that, that that episode was fun, man. And I, I did notice that. I, like I didn't, I never vocalized it, but yeah, yeah. you definitely were different. That was yeah. like it was it changed. There's some sure. growth. Yeah, yeah there's some, some growth, growth, man. growth. Being in front of the camera and shit is yeah. it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. You just turned man. into a Venusaur. Honestly, like, <laughs> at the, at, I think from the very first moment, I I noticed it like. That I was ready for this. Yeah. When we did the first podcast, and I was like, this is yeah. so easy. Like I said, I was ready, and then we were doing it, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> but, you know? I, and then finally, I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's, let's, like, let's give it my all. Go full force. You go back shit. and watch episode one and come back now. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I can't. You're going to you're gonna go. I might, s- yeah, I might have to do that. Just I can't go, do that Go now, watch man. that, and then go see how cringe it was. <laughs> and then come... <laughs> Come on to the podcast for now. For all of us, not just for Boo. No, for all of, yeah, no for everyone. All, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, for all of us. I know, like, man. Amy, okay. shit. Amy be rewatching stuff, and I'll be like, turn it off. Is it bad? Turn or? it off right now. No, no. <laughs> oh, she you loves like, it. Oh, but yeah. for me, I'm not used You're to like, still Ugh. listening to myself. <laughs> I'm not used to having re- on myself on repeat and conversing see, with people. I'm, o- I'm okay with having that up because it's just like music or anything that you progress yeah. in. It's mm-hmm. something yeah, that yeah. you can go back yeah. and look at, and you can say, damn, like I really fixed this. I improved on this. I improved my flow. I improved this. So that's really you know I, yeah. I like Carry the podcast from from episode one up until now. If I did go yeah. back, I probably would have these same conversations. Like, yeah, it was cringy, but damn, we did up the game on mm-hmm. on everything. Dude, you know, we you really we did. fixed a lot when, of things. Yeah. When the dynamic shift for us is when we put the iPad or laptop in front of you. Damn, <laughs> no, hey, it's true. Yeah. It's crazy. Hey, man, yeah. like, crazy. It may seem like crazy because like as a as a podcast or as a content creator, when people come in and like they're like, oh man, these guys are on their laptops and stuff, looking mm-hmm. at their phones, like trying to prep questions. But really it's just so we can get our, like our questions to you guys mm-hmm. in, a, in a timely manner and respectful manner. I just begin, you I remember prep. before, before having the laptop and the computer, I would just get lost in the you're sauce. Forget- yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Forgetting yeah. Some, Bro, like, man. Yeah. When you're like talking back to back on things, yeah, like man. you forget the last thing that you talked about yeah. and you're on to the next thing. Like so there's like, no way to really retain me that. To like really go back. Yeah. Finding a way to reel it all back mm-hmm. in, you know. Yeah. Especially yeah. when we have questions. guests, too. There's no way that we can just remember every single episode yeah. while still being in tune with the guest. Because you're I fucking do. elephant, bro. <laughs> Shut up, bro. Damn. You're just saying you can, but I'm saying you guys can. <laughs> you, you remember guys... everything. 
Oh, man. <laughs> I, 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 that's why you never see on my phone asking questions because oh, I sit yeah. there and memorize them as much as I can. And I I'm, it's more so I, I prep myself for the question and like the answer. Yeah. It's like, mm. it's kind of a weird way to take it, but I, <laughs> I would answer for them in my head before we even have them on the podcast. But man, that was when we were doing one podcast week. Now we're like back to back every yeah. fucking week. Like We man. had three this week so we can so prepare to go like, to Japan. Yeah. Like, crazy, we, you know? In the month of January, we're booked out pretty much until the end of the month and then I'm pretty sure you know, we're and that gonna... was that was one cool thing to see too because how we started off it started going weekly and then like mm. before we knew it, we were booked out yeah full month doing booked, doing yeah. it back to back going monday tuesday and now we have like even the next the next month booked out which is gonna it's really cool yeah it's, really it's dope wild to see, it's to see crazy response is nuts people yeah. want to be on yeah and it's just yeah it's nice to see if you guys got a podcast too that you want us on, let us know. Yeah, yeah. I'm down to go I'm on down. Down. Yeah. I'm down. And next crazy. year, next year I do have uh, bigger goals. We'll probably discuss that here after, and then have a better discussion with you guys going into the new year for yeah. our New Year's episode. So yeah, stay tuned like for that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We all have a lot of goals for next year, and you know, our individually, and for our business as well. Yeah. What we share, and yeah, I like what we created here. I do too. Right. Yeah. And People, kudos, kudos to all of us, man, for for juggling and making time for this. Uh, we, you know, we all got busy lives and shit going on, and we hmm. we've all been able to to yeah. make time to be here and and make sure that this shit's really popping off. You know, so shout yeah. outs to us, man, going crazy. Yeah, we're a great team, guys. Woo! We're a great team. Shout outs to team. I have Sifu Ying in the back. <laughs> I just want another slime poji from Moose, bro. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you, I knew you guys were going to do some shit. Can you I give just, us... Come on, I just come on. want let's, another well, Let's one. go ahead and end it this way. Damn, <laughs> you got to give us a holiday slam poetry. Bro, that was my favorite. Holiday, but one of my favorite holiday. shits. Bro. That, that, no, that, that is for sure. That real... Bro. That real... Bye bye, John and John. And then John and John. Oh. All right. Let's get a, let's get a slam poetry one, for the one time. This is our chef special, baby. Come on. It's the chef special. Holy spirit. Do your, do your chef right. special and the slam poetry going crazy. Let them know. You motherfuckers. Okay. Ready? <laughs> to all here and to all a good night. This is Christmas time off the menu. And we are about to take flight. Going crazy. Reindeer in the air. Breeze running through my hair. I don't give no care. It is Christmas time. Fuck you. Watch the bear. <laughs> Going crazy. Oh, Damn, that's my best one. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> happy Christmas, Harry. <laughs> happy Christmas, Ron. <laughs> Merry Christmas and a happy new year to all. Shout outs, y'all, yeah. man. Thank you guys happy for supporting holidays. us thus far. Thank you guys. We for really everything. do appreciate it. And yeah. we're gonna go ahead and end it off here. We Episode got goals, 46 man. of the Off the Menu Podcast. Peace out, y'all. We're trying to get to a thousand. Help us get there, please. please. Get there. Be we will. Be we'll beautiful and be yourself. Yeah. Smell Yo. you later. Off the menu going crazy for y'all. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas, Ron! <laughs> <laughs>